Mr. Saunders. Good to meet you again. Yeah. Thank you for your spot. Since we have a lot of new faces in the crowd, we'll probably stick to more of the basics. I'll try and throw in some tips and tricks for more seasoned users here. There you go. Yeah, I'd like to move this one in. You're just fine. Hold it. Hold this. Okay, now let this one go on while you're pulling that. Oh! Overload it! So, what do you want to be when you grow up? Scientist? Awesome. There you go. Oh. Good to hear. I'm making a mountain. Oh. Right. 75 or 80. Yeah. Uh, the narrower piece will do a bigger job. Right. And it also doesn't restrict you to six inch jaws. There's no reason why you can't use a short jaw for small parts. I uh, finally made progress. All made on the 770. Are you having to pay for your licenses? I pay because they do these promotional opportunities like last week it was 25 bucks for a year if you caught it on Amazon. It's not too hard. Um, no one has ever accused me of going too slow. So don't hesitate to raise your hand or tell me to slow down if you need to see something. Okay, okay that was good. Yes, yeah. You're just nothing in front of it. Yeah, the, the uh, professor is really just a, you know, it's using an F-Bow, so it's just trying to have it point in over your tool, um, you can have it set to the serial plane, you can have it set to your own uh, Select the moat, which had two big bumps that you had to get over, and a lot of teams would get stuck on this. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of different defenses that you had to be able to cross to complete the game. Sizes and sh weird shapes, and you know, it's perfect machine. For that. It's perfect. Okay. The mill it down, the actual thickness of the dog had to be like an eighth inch, but the, the other, other what, quarter inch would be the, you know, the, the distance for making it to these skulls. That would be cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've, I, I've seen pictures of it on, uh, I've, I've seen people doing it on YouTube. You wouldn't need that big of an engine either. You could no, get well, see, away with. I, 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 I would use a bullet cutter. And uh, right now, you use manual mills. Yes. So why are you thinking about CNC? It's faster. You can make the parts quicker. Mm -hmm. It's like having a hired guy. You don't have to pay. Yeah. I know everybody has T slots if you have a machine, uh, and I'm assuming you also would have a vice. And if you called me and asked me to go through your cart with you and said, "Hey, what do I have to have?" I would suggest. One of our two vices. Uh, my name is Hayami Arakawa, and I'm from uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts, and uh, I'm the director of the MIT Hobby Shop. Awesome. And why are you here? Uh, well, I'm doing research for the school uh, to uh, kind of outfit some of our new maker spaces with uh, machinery. So I'm kind of on uh, yeah research detail right now. 
Okay, that's good. I was very impressed with the software, but uh, also the interface with uh, uh, your machinery, uh, primarily, and then the machines themselves. Is this mainly for the engineering students? Uh, uh, this is for the whole school, actually. Oh, really? This is a new mandate uh, by the school where all freshmen uh, no matter what department they think they're going into, we'll have to take making classes. Wonderful. Yes. The strongest point of MIT is conceptually you have to think things up, but you have to be able to make them as well. <laughs> it's a really neat, neat, neat place. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Thank you for coming. Oh, Appreciate you're it. welcome.